to a brand new episode of Restaurant Radio. I'm Michael. And I'm Anthony. This is our first episode of the year for YouTube, so happy new episode day, guys. <laughs> and we're coming with some good old best to start this year off on our YouTube channel. Whoa. Mess. <laughs> Mess. Trash. Sir. Garbage. Sir. This is... Fiddlesticks. Th- Whoa. <laughs> like, core stop it. Stop you. it. Also known as morals, <laughs> also known Mor- as morals, integrity. Oh, is that what it is? Yes. Okay. But more, most importantly, core values. Could you explain exactly why we're talking about core values? And of course. Now, the naughty, naughty people over who make DOA. That would be Team Ninja and uh, Koei Tecmo. All right, I'm glad you said that. I, I didn't want to screw that up. <laughs> um, those terrible people, awful people, decided to really? to demo <laughs> DOA 6, Dead or Alive 6, for those who don't know. Mm-hmm. And they were showing quite the scantily clad women out here shaking their assets <laughs> and, and just being disruptive to the core game. <laughs> Oh, wow. Which was not meant at all to be sexual in the slightest. Really? Showing breasts. <laughs> showing or memory glands. Right. Showing memory <laughs> glands and, and, and backsides <laughs> and <laughs> rears. And Gluteus Maximus. Right. And then they had the audacity to put two prominent characters in a sexual position. Not once. Uh, you talking about um, Bass and uh, Neo Tengu? Yes, yes <sighs> I am. And how dare they? How dare they? How dare they? And then they paused it, showed different camera angles. Yeah, they was, was on. Th- it was a mess. It was <laughs> terrible. They, they even was- had the, the nerve to call it, and I quote, "Sugoi." <laughs> For those who don't understand what that word means, it, it's something akin to awesome, awesome, or amazing, or, or great. Yeah, it's one of those. It was a travesty. <sighs> was it really a travesty? It had to have been because they had to cut the. The stream short. Yeah, and then apologize, they- and in a showing of integrity, good faith, <laughs> and all around class. Uh huh. Our savior, Joey, Mister Wiz, Kuehler. Hmm. He said this. <clears throat> the DOA ad that aired on our stream does not reflect the core values of Evo or the FGC. We ended the stream temporarily to protect the integrity of our brand. We sincerely apologize to our fans. Really? And thank you, Mr. Wiz, for that. That was so I trash. That was so trash. From, that was so trash. They could have kept. He could have. Don't belong in the FGC. In the FGC. <laughs> <laughs> he could he could have kept that apology honestly. I, I, I'm sorry, I can't keep that up. Oh, uh, for more content, this all happened during the stream for DOA's um during um Evo Japan a couple days ago, and they were showing off the game. They had these two sexy um models on stage with them, you know, to completely drive home the point of the sexiness of this game. Look as thick. Because this game has definitely been embroiled in a lot of controversy as far as will it have sexiness, will it not have sexiness, is it toned down, not toned down. They wanted to make sure you do. This game is still sexy, as it always been. And when we say controversy, this this isn't like life-ending or anything. No, this it's is stupid. It's game-breaking. It's nope, like, this is... Breasts don't jiggle stupid no more. <laughs> they really don't, but you can still ogle at them. You can still use different camera angles at the, at the titties and stuff. Yeah, you can't do the stuff you could do in uh, DOA 5. Oh, God, that was... swipe the touchpad, the breasts just jiggle. Oh, my God. And then the sweat thing was extra, extra. Like, yeah, we need Would this... You turn on or off, by the way. Yeah, I always kept it on. <laughs> Of course you did. Of course I did. Look, I appreciate the female. I mean, the, <laughs> the female anatomy. I was, should have said the male anatomy, honestly, because that's why I kept it on for, to be quite honest. Well, <laughs> sir, that doesn't go. Can we get some dick physics? Like we still speaking of which, which is completely off topic. Did you see that? Um, that um, what was it? It was a um petition to get dick figures for um Dante. Of course and I did. DMC five. Of course I saw. Yo, that. I so sad that too. I'm like, we of course you did. we need equality across the board. 
I, I kept swiping. <laughs> <laughs> I continued my swiping. But back on topic with core values in the FGC. So a lot of people are using um the ultra violence in more combat as a way to say that this is kind of a hypocritical because you're saying sex is not a part of core values, but ultra violence is, which I could definitely see the correlation. Hey, when we say ultra violence, mm-hmm. y'all been watching them. Every yeah, eleven is beyond like I've never no. seen anything more violent before in my life. Like that stuff. Let this face off. Yeah, that it's it's. Whew. Scorpion split that dude with his chain. I mean, that's a great fatality. That was awesome, that's a great fatality. That's so good. Man, you got Scarlet turning your blood into spikes and stabbing you. With. And then, yeah, she turns that's his, recycling. <laughs> she turned into a scythe too and cut you with it. Oof. Like it's it's oof. Let's not even get into like Sub Zero and Barack. Yeah, those are really graphic and really ultra violent. I haven't say seen a bad fatality yet. I haven't either. There's some really good ones they've made for this game. The blood effects. <laughs> like, why is the blood so shiny? Why is it so luminous? It's, so thick. it's, it's like chocolate milk. Like, or it's red. It's crazy. It should be inside you. <laughs> but I think the correlation between ultra violence and sex is definitely there because they're both very, um, I would say, they're on the same spectrum when it comes to like imagery and stuff and mature visuals and everything i want to know who was offended though yeah i didn't see anybody be offended on twitter like i honestly think this was a this was a part more so about money and satisfying the people who are like backing him and, and the let's sponsors. be honest statistically speaking most people who complain about this kind of stuff don't even really play the games yeah they really don't i just think that he wants to just like save face for the people who are giving him money yeah, because that wouldn't have flown on uh, ESPN or anything. Like <laughs> of course not. This is not for ESPN. But this is like the off season of like the FGC anyway. This is like Especially given that the sponsors were like, what? Cup noodle? This doesn't uh, go with Red their core Bull. values. Oh, I'm sure Cup Noodle in Japan is worried about Japanese things happening in Japan. <laughs> Don't play Red Bull. I don't see some of those girls you had out there passing out Red Bull. Yikes. Red Bull car. So you try to are you try to shame them? No, I'm trying to get Mister Wiz to calm the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I agree. I think that this whole tweet, the situation has been blown out of proportion. Like, I mean, the video itself is hilarious. Like they oh, were, crazy. Crazy. they were, they were doing their job. Like they were hyping the game up. Like I they're supposed to. It, like man. This game looks viable. This <laughs> game looks viable. <laughs> uh, like, my only complaint about the game, as I said to you, Michael, was uh, Tina. Not her breasts, <laughs> but her costume. <laughs> I hate costumes that have weapons attached that they not gonna use. I mean, Hayabusa has a whole sword he ain't using. I, I don't, I, so? I mean, the whole game's based around it, because they, they can't have everybody using their weapons. That's That's unfair. If Hayabusa used all his weaponry and deal away, he would win the tournament every year. Well, maybe they should get good. <laughs> they can't beat. He's a super ninja. That's his literal title. I, I didn't write him. Okay. <laughs> he's, he's I just super- told you what Bobby did. <laughs> so, I think the conflation of core values and sex is just kind of alarming. Because, I mean, there's been plenty of games that have been sexy over the years that have been right on the FGC. Like, Street Fighter Five is pretty lewd. Like, we ain't going to even act like we're going to come here acting brand new at this point. Armika out here looking extra thick. I mean, Cammy's butt is out. Always. Like, let's Laura? see. Laura is a complete, like, porn star looking in that game. Like, her... Colleen out here? Thick. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of TNAs. Chun-Li? I mean, Chun Li's outfits they put in this game are crazy. Like you can see all inside of everything of her. Like if you just look for a second, just a quick second. And out just... of fairness to Michael, what about the men? Oh yeah, um, you get um, Ryu and Ryu's his new, new costume. Ah! You get Urian and his costume. Ooh, yikes, that's so good. I mean, did you have? You of course, Geef. Get Geef. I mean, some people like Geef. I mean, if I you're guess. into that. Alex out here with his stripper fireman costume. I mean, I'm down for that. Cody. <sighs> God, Cody. Jesus. So, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, Street Fighter Five is definitely... That, I think that Ryu costume is probably the most lewd male costume in the game. Like that's, it, It's only in competition with, with Yurian. Yep. 
But I think people stop using Yuri's costume after a while, though. I haven't seen people really use the um, banana yeah, hammock. Because the suit is amazing. It really is. And then he got the Wesker outfit, too? Yeah. Put him in no thong over a Wesker outfit? But then you got all those female costumes where it's just like titties and ass. Ass and titties. Ass. And, I mean, I've seen that song. Please. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> so there's always been lewdness in like a lot of stuff when it comes to Street Fighter over the years, and there's never been like, oh, this game doesn't go about core value. Remember when Cammy had that like whole upskirt shot of her when she did her, her um, intro yeah. in five before they fixed it, yeah. or the Mika butt slap? Like, come on, like this game, like they, I think they're picking and choosing. Of course they are. And I think, they, I mean, DOA is always an easy target. It's always an easy target for anyone to talk about, oh, this game is ultra sexy and ultra violent. It's a sexy fighter. It is a sexy fighter. I mean, but I think that they're trying to, like, tone it down. When They did a pretty good job, I think. But they still have it where it's a good balance of. It's still a good fighting game. It's still pretty, um, they pretty sexy. They with the best thing they have in their repertoire. Costumes. Yeah, because they got some really out there costumes. Yeah, they got so many of them. Yeah, it's been like $1,000 to get them all. I think that this whole core values thing is just really selling. I think it's going to be detrimental yeah. to the FGC. And I'm glad it's a meme that he has to look at for at least the next week. So he can a week? <laughs> he going to be listening to Piss Fighters and probably the end of this, until uh, at least the Evo America comes up. Hey. I can see people still using this core value. I think the more communication he does will make the meme stay longer. So if he says anything else, like, what about your core values? <laughs> and he stay, he's steady tweeting. He is stay he, tweeting. I hate when people delete their tweets and keep tweeting like you didn't just do that. Like nobody saw that. Like nobody got a screenshot of it. Like my dude. It's there. It's out there forever. My dude, we gonna keep on acting like you said that. I wish you would be like, I don't want to uh, upset our sponsors by this content that we show. Yeah, that's all it's about. Because that would have just made more I would have been fine with that. And I'm like, you know what? I understand. Because some sponsors don't want to be associated with sex and stuff. And that makes sense. Like, that's your brand. You have the right to associate your brand with whatever you want. But don't sit down like that. This is for the people. Right. The, especially when the people don't care. <sighs> some people do not care about seeing Neo Tengu and Baz get involved <laughs> in that little sequence they had. I think it's been pretty funny though, to be honest. Like this oh, whole this situation, is this, this, this is, is this is great for everything. I just think that I think that Mister Wizard wants to the FGC to be so esports so bad to where I'm he's over here looking at the sponsors, right? Mm-hmm. For you, so here, Japan. So here are my guesses of who would who hate this, right? Okay. Indeed, Japan. Okay, I can see them not being too keen on this whole like titties and ass thing. Okay. That's Nissan, maybe? Maybe. They're a car company. I'm sure they probably had at least one sexy commercial, at least once or twice. Oh, Alienware on this? Oh, don't care. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Okay. There. Yeah. Uh, that's all I got. Yeah, I can see it. Because let's see, we got Hori. They don't care. They don't right? care. Panasonic. Don't care. Shalom? Oh, that's the, that's the bracket people. Oh, they definitely don't care. Saito? <laughs> they don't care either. Zowie? Nope. I don't even know how you say Canva? Gonda? Q-A-N-D. I hate I think that's Canva. I think it's Yeah. I don't think they carry. They make a. ADC? Orchestra? I have no idea who they are. Act Racing? Uh, I don't Maybe. know. Maybe. I can see Indeed. That Indeed would probably be the only legitimate one I could see having an issue with this because they're definitely more of a corporate business type of company dealing oh, wait, with job placement. Oh, Twitter don't care. They got a whole porn Twitter. I, ain't I, I know. I <laughs> sponsoring like, I'm just genuinely surprised. Porn Twitter is a whole thing. Oh, oh man. Maybe Square Enix cares. They couldn't when they saw like... Oh, boy. I don't believe that. No, not when they have a whole mechanic where you can explode to be and get clothes off. Have you seen Shiva in uh, 15? Where her titties out? <laughs> yeah, I don't think Square Enix cares. This is definitely part of Indeed.com that probably would have been upset about this because that just doesn't really go with their core values. But I just wish you would just be, I just wish you would be more transparent about what this was, what this was, and what it isn't. Because I feel like using the people of the FGC as a scapegoat for the fact that you want to make sure you satisfy your your investors is just really, just really shitty. I'm not a part of that. That doesn't go with my core values. And I'm glad that so many people have said something about that. Everybody called about it on it. Like, that's the best part about it. Everybody just looked through like, this is stupid. Like, we see right through you, Mr. Wiz. 
core values. Take Marvel out of evil right? Do this. <sighs> First, you go against your own core values. Now you want to uphold them. It's horrible. Pick one. <laughs> you can't have it both ways. Put Marvel back. That's my core values. I'm down for that too. Let's redo a campaign. Core values. Marvel Infinite. <laughs> <sighs> you got any it's final thoughts? Take Marvel too. Well, yeah, that's been pretty fun to watch these days. Uh, core values. Keep them close. Know what they're about. Yay titties. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I, I think that's same for me too. All right, what do you guys think about the core values? Do you think that DOA just is too lewd for the FGC now? Do you think that Street Fighter is just lewd enough? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the little bell so you can get notifications for our new videos, and we will see you next time.